rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. What does this mean? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And in his kingdom there will be no end. How can this be? Like, I don't know a man. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. But what about... Wait! I need to know more! It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made from Cyrenius, who was governor of Syria. Those who don't belong here must pack up and go to their hometowns. Are you sure you're okay? I'll be fine, Joseph. Stop worrying. I just don't know how we're going to make it to Bethlehem before the baby comes. You look like you're ready to burst any day now. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> I, I don't know. The baby's coming soon. There's no more room. Now off with you. No, 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 no. Don't ask me for a room. I already have more than I can handle. But we've traveled such a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it before. It's because of that stupid new decree. But there's got to be something you can do. My wife is pregnant. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I. Have. No. Room. Uh, did you say your wife is, uh, pregnant? Yes, and we need a place to stay, even if it's not a room. Well, I, I can't give you a room, but... Whatever it is, we'll take it. Just wait before you say yes, but I have a, a stable around back that I just cleaned today. It's not that big, but it's... We'll take it. Really? You'll take it? Well, follow me around back then. I brought a few extra blankets for your wife and the baby and... Ah! 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 You did this to me! Oh, even if you did it! Ah! Well, ah! I'll leave you two alone for a while. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. What's going on? What does this mean? Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, 
you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Let's go see the Savior. Praise the Lord God. The Messiah is here. Hosanna! Jesus, the Son of God. It's the birth of Jesus Christ. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Enter! Ah, oh, most wise men, what brings you here? Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. King, you say? Yes, we've traveled many a mile and we wish to make it as soon as possible. Uh, give me a minute. Certainly. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. A Jewish child taken up from my kingdom? I can't have this. Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him. <clears throat> if I may speak, my lord. You may. It's quite out of the ordinary for you to worship anyone. Oh, that? I'm not really going to worship him, no. I have different plans. And lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Behold, the newborn king! Praise the Lord God! We must present our gifts. I present gold. I present frankincense. I present the gift of myrrh. I just had a vision. Of what? The angel Gabriel warned us not to return to Jerusalem, for King Herod does not want to worship the child, but kill him instead. The nerve of him! We'll take another way home. Let us pack up and leave immediately. What has taken them so long? They should have been back here by now. Where are they? Those wise men turned out to be wise guys. Captain! You called, my lord. Take your soldiers to Bethlehem and kill every baby boy under the age of two. But sire, every baby? What? Is there a problem? Would you question your king's authority? No, my lord. It shall be done. Oh, go get a glass of water. My kingdom will not be taken from me by a Jewish child. Arise, take the young child and his mother. Flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Mary, wake up!
when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel. For they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose, and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. 